are you taking that pantry? <laughs> Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. And Lisa. And today we're building a rollout pantry for Lisa that's gonna fit in between her cabinet and her fridge. Let's go. We went to Lisa's new apartment a few weeks ago and checked out her current pantry situation. Because I don't have a pantry. Oh, I have like food in here now. The space by her fridge was perfect for a rolling pantry. For this project we used plywood, two one by fours, two one by eights, a Craig jig, Craig jig screws, non-swivel casters, a driver, a drill, ebony stain, a cabinet pull, screws, measuring tape, a miter saw, a table saw, a circular saw, and a bunch of clamps. This pantry is made of two parts, the main body and the shelves. It's the biggest single piece we've built so far, but it's really simple, totally doable in a day, and only cost about a hundred bucks. We've linked below to plans for this build, where you can see the measurements and cut list. We made the main body first. We used plywood for the backing and ripped the side that was cut at the hardware store down since it was pretty rough. Then we cut it to length with our circular saw. For the top, bottom, and sides, we used 1x8s and cut them down on our miter saw. We ripped the bottom by 3 quarters of an inch for the shelf we're going to add later. Next, we made the cuts for our shelves. Each shelf was made with two parts, a bottom and a front. We used extra plywood from the backing to make the shelf bottoms. And we used 1x4s for the shelf fronts. We drilled a bunch of pocket holes on the underside of the shelf bottoms. We'll screw through these to the plywood backing, the 1x8 frame, and the 1x4 shelf fronts. With all our cuts made, we did a test fit to make sure that everything fit together. Since it did, next step was staining it all. We used a Minwax stain in the ebony to get as close as we could to Lisa's dark cabinet color. Next we assembled the main body. We clamped on the top piece and drilled through our pocket holes. Before attaching the bottom piece, we added casters to it. These might look off center at first, but it's because we're adding a shelf flip to the front of this bottom piece. We attached it to the rest of the main body through our pocket holes. So here, we have the top, bottom, and side pieces assembled. We didn't get a shot of this, but next we popped in the back plywood piece. The shelves will secure it into place, so we're going to add those now. We clamped the front and bottom piece of each shelf at a right angle, and then screwed them together. At this point, it actually started looking like a pantry. Then we screwed through the pocket holes on the underside of each shelf into the plywood backing and the 1x8 sides. Can you do that again? Woo! Lastly, we added the handle. We attached the top screw and traced out where to drill for the bottom screw. Then we took it to Lisa's apartment and really, really hoped that it fit. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We actually have plans available for this. They're specific for Lisa's dimensions, but you can easily adapt them for yourself. So click the link below if you want the plans, and click subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks. I don't know if I pointed the right way for the subscribe button, but... They'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's always in the I same think place. subscribe is there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin being the good friend she is, just laughing, <laughs> laughing at Lisa.